everyone. My name is Gabriele from Yazaiki, and today we'll talk about electrodialysis and electrodialysis reversal and our product line called Dissolve EDR, which is dedicated to this technology. So what do we talk about? Very quickly, we will introduce electrodialysis, what is it and how it works. Then we will sh show you some membranes and applications for this technology. And we will also talk about bipolar electrodialysis and the benefits of this technology. What is electrodialysis? Basically, electrodialysis is a technology to filter water and wastewater or other solutions by applying an electrical field to a feed solution or liquid. On the right side, we have a picture of a typical memory stack with the inlet and outlet for the electrodes at the bottom. This technology is very common for desalination processes, but also for acid and base concentration in the chemical industry. So how it works, the working principle of electrodialysis is that it separates positive and negative ions from any solution, so any, from any water or liquid stream. And for instance, in tap water, we have positive ions, which could be calcium, magnesium, sodium, and potassium. And on the other side, we have negative ions, such as bicarbonate, chlorides, and sulfate. Here we have a drawing of an electrodialysis equipment, just to explain very quickly. On the left side, we have a cathode. On the right side, we have an anode, which are negatively and positively charged. And we have a feed solution with positive and negative anions. When we turn on the electricity, so in the right picture, the ions we migrate to towards their positive and negative uh, poles. So the negative uh, ions will migrate towards the anode, while the positive ions will migrate it towards the cathode. And on the last picture at the bottom, we can see how all the ions, positive ions, are lined up at the cathode, while the negative ions are lined up at the anode. So this is the basic principle of how the technology works. As we mentioned before, electrodialysis use membranes which in this case are positive and negative membranes, so anion and cation membranes, which are placed alternatively. As you can see at the bottom, we have an example of a drawing of our uh, test membrane, membrane stack. And we have in the order a spacer, then we have a positive membrane, then a, another spacer, then a negative charge membrane, and so on, until we can compose a membrane stack. As you see on the right side, we have a real life example of one of our membrane stacks. On the top left, we have an example of a spacer used for the membrane stack. And also on the right side, we have another one. In the middle, we have the clamping manufacturing, which is the part that allows the membrane to stick together, basically the pressure. And on the bottom left, we have an example of an electrodes Usually we use titanium, coated, iridium and ruthenium, but also platinum and other materials are available. As I mentioned before, here we have an example of the spacers we use, which allow for the best performance and we choose the spacer based on the project requirements. So the size can vary based on a membrane and the surface area we need to treat the water, liquid, or the solution we want to treat. So to talk more precisely about the design of a membrane, as you can see, on the left side, we have the cathode. On the right side, we have the anode. And we have different flows. In this case, the water feed comes from the bottom, and it goes through the chambers. These chambers or channels are formed by the positive and negative membrane. And as we can see, for instance, on the left side, the positive ions flow through 
the positive charge membrane, while the negative ions flow through the negative charge uh, membrane. So we can talk about selective member membranes. And as I showed before, the positive ions flow towards the cathode, while the negative ions, such as this one on the top right, flow towards the anode. Another solution offered by electrodialysis is reverse electrodialysis, where the polarity of the electrodes switch and also the fee flow direction changes path. This is very useful because it avoids classification or like scaling problems by switching the flow and polarity, both on the anode and cathode, but also on the membranes themselves. So in this case, in the first uh, picture uh, in, on the left, we have a feed that flows towards these channels, while the anode is on the left side and cathode is on the right side. And we have diluate and concentrate uh, flowing from the top. On the other side, we switch the polarity, so the direction of the ions is changed compared to before. So for instance, the cathode and the anode on the bottom right that now you cannot see the polarity is inverted and the feed has also switched to different uh, membranes chamber. So what are the application of this technology? Mostly this technology is employed for desalination, as I mentioned before, but it can also be used for arrow reject and brine concentration. And it can also be used for pure water uh, applications and also, as I mentioned before, in the chemical industry for product concentration when we're talking about bipolar membranes. As I mentioned, bipolar membranes can be used in the chemical industry. Here we have an example. And the main difference with standard electrodialysis is that bipolar membrane combines a negative and positive membrane layers. As you can see, the configuration is different of the membrane because we have a bipolar membrane, a negative membrane, a positive membrane, and so on. These units are, are called repeating units. So the units that include bipolar membrane, negative and positive membrane. On the right side, we have an example of how the um, membrane stack works, the bipolar membrane stacks work. Basically, in this case of a bipolar membrane on the right side, we have a feed of water. And what happens uh, to this water is split by the bipolar membrane, and it can be combined with the acid or base, uh, we give a feed to have a different product. So in this case, we have the two acid and base produced or concentrate from the bipolar membrane, and we have a diluate of water. So what are the most common application of bipolar electrodialysis? Of course, as I mentioned before, in organic salt preparation of acid and bases, so we can concentrate any feed of acid and base. We currently have application in the lithium industry, but also in the chemical production industry. Bipolar membrane can also be used for organic, organic acids, so in the food industry. And finally, it can be used for the production of organic bases and concentration of organic phases basis. So what are the benefits of this technology? First of all, is that there are no chemicals used. So compared to other water treatment or waste water treatment or acid and base concentration, we don't need chemicals to operate this kind of technology. It requires le less energy compared to other desalination methods when we're talking about this, uh, desalinating any feed solution. The membrane stack uh, can be designed for each application, like compared to uh, reverse osmosis membranes. The membranes have a size and a pre-configured specification, while the electrolysis, we can combine as many layers as we want and the size we want just to reach the feed flow goal or the deal weight production goal. Finally, the membranes usually need to be replaced every three 
but also can reach five years, depending on the feed liquid and the maintenance schedule. And finally, skinny and fooling potential are reduced because the equipment can be configured as reverse electrodialysis, so we can clean automatically the scaling on the membrane stacks. Here is the end of our presentation. I made a very quick one just to introduce you to the technology. But if you scan this QR code, you can visit our website or you can get in touch at info at yaza.ltd so we can keep discussing about your problems and our possible solution for your projects. Thank you very much.